we made it to a nice little campsite here um, on the way to Lolo, Idaho. No, Lolo's in Montana, I think, actually. But we're still in Idaho. Uh, we're going to do a hike into Stanley Hot Springs in the morning. It's a five-mile hike uh, round trip and has a creek crossing. Uh, we checked the creek down by the bridge when we got to camp, and it looks to be like it's moving pretty good. So we may end up just going on a long hike and not actually making it to our destination. But we will find out in the morning. For the evening, we're going to watch a little Netflix and have some dinner. It is about 6.20 in the morning on a Wednesday. Um, we're gonna get a, what I'll call a subalpine start for this hike today because it's gonna go up into some subalpine environment, I think. Right? I don't know. It says I don't know either. We're really tired. It's the highest point at 3,600 feet. Highest point is 3,600 feet, but that could be subalpine here in Idaho. You never know. Because we're above the 45th parallel now. We are above the 45th parallel because we passed that yesterday. Um, but yeah, so we're going to try and get to these hot springs before it gets too hot out. Uh, it's two and a half miles in, 1,650 or so feet of climbing, so. Oh, it's five miles in, it's 10 miles round trip. Oh, yep, sorry, still not awake. Five miles in, 1,600 feet of climbing. That makes the climbing sound a lot less, so that's good. And hopefully it's not blazing hot by the time we get there, and hopefully the creek is not too high to cross when we get to that point. Um, we actually paid for a campsite last night, which isn't normal, uh, because trailhead was totally empty and felt like the van might be a little bit safer in a campsite rather than this giant empty trailhead that, who knows, vehicle break-ins are crazy. So pay a few bucks, make it feel a little safer. Um, yeah, so we're going to go out on this trail and hopefully maybe see a grizzly at a distance and wolves. It'd be cool to see them, but hopefully it's going to be a good fun day. Did you wear too many clothes? Well, yeah, but I needed all of them. We've been on the trail for about 10 minutes and she stopped to say, I smell strawberries. Um, we didn't find the strawberries. I think it might be these thimble berries that are right here. And we may not make it to the hot spring we'll at this it. rate. I won't stop. Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. trying my best not to stop early and check our speed. Uh, we were hoping to make it the five miles in two hours. There's supposed to be a wilderness. Well, I shouldn't say that. We enter the wilderness after two miles. So I figured there'd be a wilderness sign so we could stop at two miles and check our distance. Yeah. It's been a bit and we haven't seen it. So we stopped and checked our distance. We've gone- Two and a half miles in just under an hour. 2.5? Yeah. Wow. 2 .5 and, miles. and how long? 55 minutes. 55 minutes. So we're keeping our pace for two and a half miles an hour, which is pretty steady. Um, we should be up there in less than another hour. <laughs> All right, so the book's wrong. It says the uh, wilderness is two miles. Or Shrava's wrong, one of the two. Oh, I don't know. Which means if it is, we haven't gone as far as we thought we have. But hopefully we have. It says we've gone 2.9. says we're at 2.9 now. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, 
we do wilderness selfies because it's fun to go into a new wilderness. So this is a new one for us, the Selway Bitterroot Wilderness. Trail update. We haven't seen any bears yet. Also, no wolves and no Bigfoot. But we did just have a good talk about Bigfoot. And what would you do if you're hiking a trail and Bigfoot came out, spoke perfect English and was like, hey, we're just misunderstood. But I don't want you to videotape this. So go tell your friends and help spread the word. I just don't want them to come get me. What do you do? Do you tell your friends because they're going to think you're nuts and not believe you? Just so you can get the word out for Mr. Bigfoot? We forgot to include the part Quite the where conundrum. He invites us over for tea. Oh, I don't know if I said that. No, you yeah, Bigfoot invited us over for tea too. <laughs> I thought I said it, but maybe I didn't. Alright, more updates when we find Bigfoot. First strawberries. Jess says. They're really tiny, but they're cool. Uh, you're not going to be able to see them until we pick them. <laughs> oh, they're not even really ready either. They're pretty small. Come on. This is a two-hand operation. You got them? Yeah, I'm going to go into the light so you can see them here. That's two. Tasty mountain strawberries. Jess is going to provide you with a little update on our prediction about the creek crossing that we're coming up upon. <laughs> uh, well, the book says that the bridge washed out and that you have to ford the creek. It's pretty high right now. So we're hoping that within the last eight years, they've come up and rebuilt the bridge. Otherwise, it might be an interesting crossing. Yeah. We'll be really bummed and we'll turn back. Yeah, so we are, I don't know, I mean, I can't even see it down below, but you might be able to hear it in the background. Um, definitely sounds like it's raging, so. Could be a bummer. We're going to try and make it, though. All right, so we've been on Boulder Creek Trail 211. Uh, we need to take a right on Rock Creek Trail 2210, and our creek crossing should be coming soon. Um, also, Jess says the sign's telling us we get beer. Beer if we is, go this is way. the way we're going. So we'll see. <laughs> we didn't bring any, but maybe there'll be some trail beers there. We love trails that have uphill both ways, and this descent means we're gonna have to come back up again. All right, so. This is what we need to get across. There's the other side of the trail there. It looks kind of deep. It's a little shallower downstream, but wider. I think we'll probably try there. Getting deeper, huh? You alright? Is it pushing it all or not really? Now we are crossing Huckleberry Creek. Which seems to be a lot mellower. Colder. Jess says it's colder. It does feel colder, but I wonder if it's just because our feet were starting to warm back up.
Okay. We found it. There's someone out here. We'll be quiet not to wake them up so that we can have it to ourselves for a while. Because we prefer to be by ourselves in hot springs. Sometimes. Five miles in, uh, it was about 1,600 feet of climbing, and our initial thought is fantastic. Pretty great. Um, we did get in here, there are two tents behind us, but we haven't seen the people yet, so maybe they're sleeping in, or maybe they went for a day hike somewhere else. But it's pretty nice out here. Um, we like to sleep in the van these days. We've talked about that. Yeah. Uh, but we were just saying it could be a, a kind of a neat backpacking trip to come out here. And then there's a seven, seven lake loop. Yeah. We don't know how long it is. So, might have to do some more investigating. gonna have a little snack before we head out here um, sitting out here drying off I didn't bring a towel in uh, trying to keep things light so we just have a little fanny pack with one liter of water um, we brought a little filter and a platypus bag to do two liters in the river on the way out and then we will have a little tuna can snack and hit the road get our feet soaked again all right, so we're gonna fill up our platypus bag and we have our little Sawyer mini water filter here. Um, when we're backpacking, we carry a pump, but this is really light and easy for hikes. Let's fill it up and we'll drink some water. So you always wanna drink from fast flowing water. Uh, you don't want to be getting into stagnant pools of water. That's where bacteria and fungus reside. So this stream is perfect. Looks nice and clear. It's running pretty fast. Uh, if we were in a drier climate, we would be carrying more water. But given that we've been on this hike, which follows through creek the entire way, we don't need to physically carry this so much water. You can just uh, filter it as you need it, which is really nice. And there you go. All right, I got my shorts ready for stream crossing number two. Cause it's a deep one. You ready? Yeah. I'm gonna stick. You good? Your phone's good, right? Yeah. Whew. Chilly. Okay, substream. Nice and slow. She made it. Now I gotta try and do it without dropping the camera. Because last time 
I didn't have the camera and I almost fell. So, just have to take it nice and easy. Whew. Yeah. We got this so far. Life of a blogger, blog, blogger, video blogging. Man, that's chilly. Okay, made it. We will uh, leave our little trekking sticks for the next people that come this way because we found them left here for us. Hopefully they don't have the COVIDs on them. At our first wildlife encounter. It's on the trail. I don't know if it's still on the trail. I would think it went up and right if it went anywhere. It's pretty steep here. Or just bring it down the trail for a while. Well, folks, it doesn't look like you're going to get to see it. But it was big, and it was brown, and it was fast. What was it, babe? It was a deer. It was a deer. camp uh, overall it was 11 miles round trip um, yeah so that was Stanley hot springs if you're in the mood for a long day hike it's enjoyable um, it would probably be better as an overnight um, for people that don't want to do 10 or 11 miles in a day. Um, there is camping right out there. But there's also two other hot springs within 30 miles of here. Um, one that's only a mile long hike and the other one's only about a half a mile. And they're warmer than this one. So I guess it just comes down to whether you want to hike or not. Or you can do them all. Or you can do them all. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Watch our other videos. We've got some good ones coming.